February is American Heart Month, and tonight we take a closer look at a troubling new trend seen during the pandemic. Researchers at several top medical centers have been tracking a spike in cases of so-called broken heart syndrome. It's a potentially deadly stress-induced heart attack that doctors say is disproportionately impacting women. ABC's Devin Dwyer reports. My heart felt like it was pounding out of my chest. For Mary Kay Abramson, it was a heart attack without the usual symptoms or warning signs. It just felt like I, the blood just couldn't get through the heart fast enough. Seriously. After being rushed to the hospital by helicopter, her doctor made a surprising diagnosis. And he comes up to my head and says, have you been under a lot of stress? Because your arteries look fine. <laughs> I said, a little bit. I've been furloughed for three months. This COVID's going on. It was a case of taco subo cardiomyopathy, or broken heart syndrome, a rare but potentially deadly form of heart disease triggered by intense emotional or physical stress. Researchers say cases have likely spiked substantially during the pandemic. I've always considered myself to be a very healthy person. 34-year-old Jenna Pilja thought she was mentally prepared to give birth during COVID, but says she was suddenly overcome after an emergency C-section. Despite being on pain medication, I was able to feel some concerning symptoms. Do you think there was a trigger? Hearing that my son might not have been okay, mm -hmm. that certainly could have triggered me. As cardiologists, we always think the heart is the most important organ. It's the brain, and the brain controls everything. The brain-heart connection is at the center of groundbreaking research by Dr. Noel Barrymers at Smith Heart Institute at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles, where inside the hospital's high-tech simulation center, we saw firsthand how stress can break a heart. So panel B is the broken heart, just to set us up. Panel A is normal. It kind of looks like a Valentine oh, heart. Yeah. The ballooning that you see in B is abnormal. It's not a heart attack, but it's not pumping efficiently. So the patient can be in shock. They can be having damage to internal organs. Um, and that's why this can be deadly. Mobile Barry Murs found cases walk. of broken hearts are soaring among women, rising 10 times faster than among men in the last decade. So not to trivialize it, but is, is it too much to say that COVID has literally been breaking hearts? I don't know how much we can really blame COVID and how much of this is that we're just recognizing more of it. Heart disease is the leading killer of women at all ages, including teenagers, midlife women, and, and older women. This is just a component of that major killer. You know, you hear people say, oh, she's brokenhearted or somebody's brokenhearted because they had a breakup or something or like something fictional, and then they come in with this as a real diagnosis. It was just like unbelievable to me. Zerlisha Kinchlow of Kansas City says it was stress from nursing school and the death of her aunt that hurt her heart. And they just told me I was at 10% heart function. For Elaine Camille of LA, it was immense grief after the sudden death of her 31-year-old son. I just was overwhelmed with grief and I, I mean, the pain was severe. I was lucky. Make sure that whoever you're seeing, is a cardiologist understands Takotsubo and what the best treatments are. While many hearts heal quickly, scientists say there could be long-term impact. Dr. Barry Merce says one in five people who suffers a broken heart will have another attack within 10 years. How do you take care of your heart? I exercise every day. I'm predominantly vegetarian. I don't smoke. Um, I don't meditate. I probably You're should. You're working on that. Not enough time. <laughs> taking care of yourself is definitely more than, you know, just taking care of your body. It's really about looking after your mental health and your overall well-being. Is that truly is connected to the heart? Absolutely. Very necessary report there. Thanks to Devin. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.